What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Huddle. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to cop, where to buy, links, raffles, estimated resale predictions, whether you should sell or hold the upcoming iconic return of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the legendary bread colorway. And be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay 100% up to date on all hype sneaker releases. And be sure to check out the links and the raffles down below in the video description to how you can solidify your pair on December 5th. Now, first topic of the day is the rumored stock number of 575,000 pairs. And I'm just going to say, guys, it seems that for upcoming Yeezys in particular, it's kind of become a common tactic to put these high numbers out there just to get people to resell their pairs and to panic sell to drive the price down. And a really good example of this was the Zebra restock last year. People panic sold all sizes, but when the restock happened, they only dropped sizes 9 through 12. But this time around for the bread restock, we're definitely going to receive all sizes and stock is going to be high, but is it 575,000 high? I honestly doubt it. And even if it is 575,000, that 575,000 is going to seem a lot like 150. So we're going to talk about how you can cut. Now, first up, these are going to be dropping at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, December 5th. Retail for adult pairs have been set at 220 U.S. dollars. Now, how can you cop at 7 a.m. Eastern? The sites that are rumored to drop is Dick Sporting Goods. It has been confirmed. Now, we do want to keep an eye out for Finish Line and JD Sports. They are confirmed and locked into the foot sites such as Champ Sports, Foot Locker, Foot Action, East Bay, and Kids Foot Locker. They're also confirmed on Snipes, YCMC, and Hibbit Sports. All those links can be found down below in the video description, and they'll also be on our Twitter account at Sneaker Huddle. If there are any cues that do go live early, we will tweet those out, so be sure to follow us on Sneaker Huddle for live drop updates. If there are restocks or if there's potentially adding to cart on certain sites, we will put that information out there for you on Twitter, so be sure to follow us on Twitter at Sneaker Huddle for some free information. Now, specifically at 7 a.m. Eastern, how can you cop these sneakers? Now, as soon as the Dick Sporting Goods queue does go live, we will tweet that out. But all you have to do is go to the release calendar, wait there. As soon as we do put the tweet out, you can simply use the direct link to the product or you can simply click shop now when the page does update on Dick's. But you want to get in that queue as quick as possible. And when it comes to Dick Sporting Goods, I would highly recommend to open a tab on your mobile device and open a tab on desktop. And the same thing we recommended for Dick Sporting Goods would recommend for Finish Line and JD Sports. They are all three going to be waiting room launches. And as a manual user, you are going to stand a decent shot. Would recommend to open up on desktop and also on your cellular device using data. Do not open up multiple tabs per IP address because you definitely will get IP banned. And we will have direct links to Dick Sporting Goods, Finish Line, and JD Sports for men's and grade school. So definitely be sure to follow us on Twitter for further updates. And the other site that's going to have the most stock at 7 a.m. Eastern is going to be the foot sites such as Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champ Sports, East Bay, and Kids Foot Locker. And what's going to happen on these sites is you're going to get through the waiting queue and it's, you're going to try to add a sneaker to cart. You're going to try to say, uh, let's say you try to add a size 6 or a size 10. It's going to say out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. You have to continue to try. Perseverance is key. Now, there's going to be a lot of stock on these two sites. These are the, the two sites. When I say two sites, the foot sites, which is mini sites, and also Dick Sporting Goods. These are going to be your two best shots at copping these sneakers at 7 a.m. Eastern. There are going to be other retailers that do drop. Hibbit's going to be dropping. Snipes is going to be dropping. YCMC is going to be dropping. But most of the stock will be loaded to these two specific platforms. But the best tip that we do have for the foot sites is to continue to try and do not quit. And also keep in mind while you're in there on those sites that you have the waiting room queue for Dick Sporting Goods in the background. And pertaining to Dick Sporting Goods, there will be two queues. So once you select a size and you click add to cart and you try to check out, it will put you back into a queue that's 100% expected. So do not panic. Now to increase your chances of hitting on these sites, would highly recommend to fill out slots to increase your odds and increase your chances. The fact that there's going to be a lot of stock rumored for this release. I don't think it, once again, I don't think it's going to be 575,000, but yes, stock will be very high for this bread restock. 
as a manual user, if you are prepared, you realistically have a chance of getting one to three pairs if you do prepare and you are ready to go on release day. And with more stock, the higher likelihood of a slot hitting. And if you are interested in having slots ran for you and you are a part of the Lace Network, reach out to those guys. The slot forms are going to open up one to two days before the drop. So if you are interested in joining a cook group and features to have on restock shock drops, how you can cook sneakers each and every drop, be sure to check out the Lace Network. And you do get a special sneaker huddle discount when you use the code in all caps SH15 to save 15% off your membership. But they are going to be running slots for this release just like every single drop. So be sure to take advantage of that opportunity. Now the next drop is going to be at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, which this will be equivalent to 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that's going to be on Yeezy Supply. And this overall is going to be your second best shot. And it's obviously your best shot at 9 a.m. Eastern because it's the only site dropping. But when it comes to tab recommendations, would highly recommend to if you're not using proxies to open five users at a time, would open five and then wait a little while, then move up to 10 and then move up to 15 if your computer can handle it. And if you're unfamiliar to what exactly to do on Yeezy Supply in terms of opening up multiple Google Chrome users, be sure to check this video out in the top right hand corner, which is how to cop Yeezy's part one. There's also a how to cop Yeezy's part two, where we go very in depth on all this information. But all you simply have to do is click the Google icon in the top right hand corner on Google Chrome, go down to add person, add a person one, two, three, four, and five, and then you simply have five users. And what's going to happen is those five users look like five completely different people. And because the fact that Yeezy Supply, they do track your cookies and this does have individual cookies per profile. And a lot of people cook Yeezy Supply because they open up more than 15 tabs. But, you know, for example, my computer, just standard stock, most stock computers can only handle five to 10 you know, profiles. But a lot of people have asked, John, how could I potentially open up 20 to 50 profiles? And that goes back to the Lace Network. When you are a VIP member, you do get a free autofill tool and a Lace Tools program, which does come with a spoofer browser, which makes the process very easy. All you got to do is load your proxies and paste in the URL, which of course everyone has, and hit run. And then you have 10 to 50 opportunities to purchase these sneakers on Yeezy Supply, which of course it is recommended that you do use proxies. And more specifically, if you are interested in this or if you're in the Lace Network, reach out to the guys over at support-tickets and they can help you one-on-one. -on -one. And if you are interested, be sure to use the code to save 15% off down below in the video description. Now, one really good tip for manual users is that if you do check out on one tab, all you have to do is simply clear your history and your cookies and hit refresh to get right back into the queue to have another opportunity to purchase those sneakers. If you do check out with that profile and it does have Yeezy Supply configured to those cookies and you get back in the queue, you get past the queue, it will not let you check out because it's noticing that your cookies have already purchased a pair of sneakers. But if you do clear the cookies, it gives you a new set of cookies. So it makes it look like you're a different person. Now your absolute best shot at hitting on the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 bread is going to be the Adidas raffle, which is open right now. And a couple of tips on how to enter this raffle and how to increase your chances. And before we get into those, most of the stock is going to be via through the Adidas raffle. So this information is very important. Now, first and foremost, of course, you will need multiple accounts and these accounts have to be phone verified to look more real and have increased chances. Yes, you can enter without a pre-verified phone number account, but your chances of hitting are very, very slim. It's most likely not going to happen. The Adidas raffle gives each account a score based on how fake it looks. So the higher the score, the less likely you are to hit. Now the top tips on a way for your accounts to look real. Make sure that you do have a PayPal payment option linked to your Adidas account. Don't jig or tweak any of your info. People do this when they have multiple accounts and Adidas is picking up on it. And the last tip is if you're using a credit card, be sure to use one per account. Now that's the tips for the Adidas raffle. Now what other raffles can you enter to have a good shot? And another is going to be through the FLX app, the Flex app, which is through Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs. You can also open this app through the Foot Locker app. And the way that this works is the more money you do spend with Foot Locker, you do get flex points and you can use those points towards releases. So be sure to look in that if you do by chance spend a lot of money at any of these retailers. 
And here up on the screen, we have a list of worldwide raffles, which as you can tell, there are a ton. When it comes to raffles, just make sure to go ahead and jig your info up just a little bit. But some of these raffles don't even ask for any payment information until after you've won. So be sure to check those out. Here are, you know, once again, the worldwide raffles, which if you're, you know, if you're watching this video, you can enter these raffles from wherever you are. They will ship anywhere. And then here, of course, we do have the United States raffles and we couldn't really fit all of the worldwide and the United States raffles on both of those cards. So be sure to follow us on Twitter. If you use the link down below in the video description to the raffle thread, it will take you to these and be sure to follow us on Twitter while you're there. But every single raffle is down below in the video description. Now pertaining to estimated resale predictions for the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Bread, these are 100% going to be a hold. The resale of these will continue to dip and I will think that these will be a very good investment, a very good hold, as long as you can purchase for the right price. And the reasons why these will be good holds is because one, there is going to be a lot of stock for the sneaker. I don't think that it's 575,000 pairs as stated previously in the video, but definitely stock is going to be high based on the number of retailers that are going to be receiving pairs. But the fact that demand is also very, very high for this sneaker, people will miss out on this pair. There will also be resale value. And once these pairs sell out and we're past, you know, we move into 2021, demand for the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 bread will continue to go strong. Definitely do not sell this sneaker for too low. And other reasons is because on the holiday season, people are willing to spend a lot of money for the next four weeks. And the last few reasons why these are going to be a good hold with holiday season approaching, people are willing to spend money right now. So spending $300, there's going to be a lot of consumer spending, which is going to make the pair sell very quickly. So to sum things up, definitely do not underestimate the potential of what these sneakers will be like in the future in terms of on the resale market, the secondary market you know, what it's selling on eBay, StockX. But that's pretty much all for today's video. Be sure to hit this subscribe button right here so you never miss out on a highly anticipated sneaker drop or update. And be sure to check out a video right here. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. God bless and have a great day.